Dallas, Texas. It's week two of the big three inside the American Airlines Center. This is the first of four games you're going to see here on Big3.com. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Custer alongside the coach, Avery Johnson. We got Brian Scalabrini with us as well. Okay, coach here. So you got the ball hogs, you got the enemies. Tell me what you're looking for today. Well, we've had some star power today already. Dante Green, yep. game one, Jason Richardson. So in this game, Jody Meeks has been on fire. He got off to a great start in week one. Um, I love the way he shot the basketball from behind the three-point line. And then Jordan Crawford uh, just played at a high level also. So I'm looking forward to watch those guys going at it. Well, with that said, let's meet those players. Leandro Barbosa, Brazil, São Paulo. Jeff Ayers, Arizona State. Jody Meeks, Kentucky. Juwan Summers, Georgetown. Jalen Jaza, Louisville. What up, I'm Nick Young, Swaggy P, I'm from USC. Isaiah Austin, Baylor University. Elijah Stewart, USC. Quincy Miller, Baylor University. Jordan Crawford, Detroit, Michigan. So those are the teams. Give me a couple of guys to watch in this game. Yeah, and one of the things I talked about is Jody Meeks has to be Jody Meeks. He's got to play, you know, from the three-point line inside. Here, a couple of little backdoor plays, but this is his game. He's a knockdown three-point shooter. He made five threes. That's what it's all about. Make the defense pay when they make a mistake on the scouting report. And then Jordan Crawford, this guy can play at all four levels he can knock it down from anywhere uh, makes the defense pay on the three-point line when they try to go underneath screens good little lucky roll there shooters bounce well of course agent zero gilbert arenas the head coach of the enemies this is his third season in the big t big three you remember uh was that about three years ago he was a player in the big three and in the hall of famer rick berry he's been all six seasons have been a head coach he is the head coach of the ball hogs if you're just new to the big three let's take a look at the rules get you familiar with what we do here first team to 50 wins you got to win by two. First team to get 25 we get to the half listen there is no game clock but there is a 14 second shot clock so you got to get it up no playing around and then the four point shot something that Ice Cube Jeff Quantinitz has introduced and innovate the game as Isaiah Austin scores and lays it in and listen that, that one of the things is they got to keep their composure the enemies had a couple of guys got ejected last week. Yep. And Isaiah Austin, you know, he's familiar with playing in this part of the town. He's played up the road in Waco at Baylor University. Sure did. That three is good. Quick start. His airs knocks down that three. Barbosa's health is going to be critical for the ball hard to success. And you talked about Jordan Crawford. You saw the speed there as he lays it right up and in. Here's Barbosa to Ayers. Barbosa goes back door. Meeks off the curl. Ayers, Ayers lays it in. And one of the things you'll notice about Barbosa, he's a perpetual in motion. He's always moving. He never really stops. Similar to that Go Golden State Warriors team where he was an assistant coach. That three's no good. Here's Barbosa. Oh, there's Jody Meeks. Cuts baseline. Air open for three. And missed it. Crawford, ball fake, corner three. Yes. Nice shot fake. Players need to utilize that shot fake a little bit more. Yeah, on this play, it's not going to be a bucket. You have to clear the paint when the ball is cleared behind the three-point line. Can't just stand in there and camp out. Yeah, good point there. Thanks for pointing that out, Scally. So no basket. Ayers, again open for three. 
So it looks like defensively the enemies, they're gonna settle or live with air shooting those threes because they wanna focus more on Meeks and Barbosa. So Austin will go to the line. Shooting one shot for two points. And you can see what Isaiah's done here. And look at the number of countries he's played in. Man, that's a lot of frequent five miles. Yes. But that's when you love the game, man. You'll go wherever the game takes you. Yeah, you're right. For those just tuning in, here on Big3.com, Brian Custer, Coach Avery Johnson, Brian Scalabrini from the American Airlines Center here in Dallas. Ball hogs, enemies. Here's Ayers, another open three, and he knocks that one down. And we'll see how the enemies adjust their defense because they're basically playing three against two defensively. You're letting him shoot it, huh? Yes. Here's Jordan Crawford. We'll see if they start the inch out and close out a little closer. Mm. Knocks it down and airs his grill. Crawford had team high 22 last week. This is his second season here in the big three. Yeah, the Crawford, you know, when he puts that ball on with his left hand, even though he's a right-handed player, with that hesitation at the three-point line, that's a signal he's going to shoot and attempt the three. Meek tried to put it off high off the glass. And shot clock violation. And Elijah Stewart, man, he hasn't scored, but boy, he's he's hustling. Here's Crawford again. How about those quick moves? Gets in the lane and lays it in with the left. Jordan Crawford. Wow. <laughs> he's excited. He's telling Ice T, hey man, I want to put on a show for you and all of the fans. Here's Barbosa going the baseline. Missed it, and Austin dunks it home. And that's consistent with the big three. You're not going to get bailed out by touch fouls. It's Gilbert Arenas, head coach of the enemies, looks on. There's a steal by Stewart to Austin. And it's the enemies who jump out on the ball hogs here early. 13 to 8 is our score. And Isaiah Austin is with Scal. All right, what do you guys got to do today? Oh, we just got to keep playing hard, man. Oh, me personally, I got to take a lot of responsibility being a co-captain, taking up for what I did last weekend, trying to help my team win this weekend. Love the accountability. Good luck. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, it's Crawford with seven, but it's Isaiah Austin. How about this dunk? Yeah, playing above the rim. Nice lob dunk.
How about Jeff Harris? He's got all eight points of the ball hog. Yeah, the ball has been finding him. The defense refuses to close out to him. Nice backdoor cut. Here it is again. It's basically a set shot. They're leaving him open. He's got all eight. The rest of the team has yet to score. And right now they find themselves down by five to the enemies. Jody Meeks, usually their leader. And Cus, one of the things you want to do is you just want to go down in the 0-2 hole early in the big three. We're not talking about a, a eight-month season. Right. That's a great point. Here's Crawford. His shot is short. Elijah Stewart with the board. Isaiah Austin with it. A good steal by Jody Meeks, and he scores. Anytime you turn the ball over in the paint, bad things could potentially happen. Stewart shot blocked. Got it back and scores it. Well, what an explosive athletic move by Stewart. First team to 25, we go to the half. Here's Meeks. The triple. Yes, Jody Meeks starting to get warm. Man, all day green, Jason Richardson, Meeks from behind the three. The shot's just the trajectory of the ball, the arc on the ball is just beautiful. Stewart, he knocks down a triple. He said, let me join the party. Coach Avery, I want to I want to have some fun shooting these threes. Head coach Gilbert Arenas is take a listen in. Timeout, 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 timeout. Oh, oh no, he's fine. He's fine. And zero. Head coach of the enemies. Here's Meeks. He'll pull it. Short. Ball Hogs got off to a much faster start in week one. To give the enemies credit, defense credit. Nice. Elijah Stewart. That one rolls off. And that jumper is no good. Oh, didn't clear it. He didn't clear it. Didn't clear it. And you heard the ref telling them, you got to clear it. I want to ask Scal if he likes that move. Scally? Yeah, I mean, it makes it so the big guy can't just camp out in there. So, yeah, you should be able to clear the paint if the ball is missed. Here's Stewart. Yes. Elijah Stewart starting to percolate. 20 to 13. First team to 25. We go to half. That triple short. Yeah, Ayers really got the ball hogs off to a good start, and now Meeks has made his last five, last five points for the ball hogs. Here's Stewart again. Another triple. Meeks drives baseline to Johnson, and he gets the roll. They say no basket. And they say Meeks didn't clear past the line. Okay. Oh. Meeks only cleared one foot. You got to clear both. Mm. Another great crowd here in Dallas yeah. this week. You're right. Which well, Dallas always comes out yeah, for the big three. We're two for two, Brian Custer. You're right. You're right. And Brooklyn will be good packed as well next weekend. Miller lost it. Swaggy P. Stewart, though, cleans up the mess. Enemies now three points away from halftime. Yeah, Stewart's doing all of the dirty work. Obviously, Jordan Crawford's going to get credit because he can score the ball. But you need guys to set screens, get loose balls, offensive rebounds, block shots, defend. 
And that's Stewart. Oh, how about that? Turning the corner and scoring it. And one is Quincy Miller. Yeah, beautiful drive by the big man. Put it in drive, got downhill, an angle on Summers, and Summers fouled him. An opportunity for a three-point play. And he knocks down his free throw, we'll go to the half. Too strong, got it back though. Puts it up. No good. Here's Elijah Stewart, you talked about it. He's doing all of the dirty work for the enemies. Yes. Miller, nope, Meeks, he misses. But here's, here's Stewart, and he's battling inside. There's a reach in on Stewart, on Jody Meeks. And I love, we were talking about being here in Dallas, and I talked to Ice Cube before the game. He, he's glad that the model is going back to moving the big three around the different cities. Yeah, back on the move in all these big arenas. Yeah. Where there's the bring the fire, the Taco Bell bring the fire challenge here. So Jody Meeks, Elijah Stewart go one on one for the point. Let's see. Here's Meeks driving, steps up, and it rolls off. I believe the offense is 0 for 3 now. You're right. You notice I didn't challenge. Yeah, you didn't? Hey, I was waiting for you. <laughs> I was waiting to hear who you going to go with on this matchup. Here's Elijah Stewart. Gets the screen from Miller. Pulls the triple. Comes off. Meeks. Watched his feet. Wanted to make sure he cleared it. Gets in the lane. Uses that body. And it was smart because how many times we see players step on the sideline in that situation and allow the sideline to become another defender and it's a turn. Stewart. Thought about the three. He'll pull up. In and out. Here's Meek, the triple. Strong, heel of the rim. Here's Swaggy P, Nick Young. They work it around the perimeter. Miller drives. And it comes off. Got his own board. Missed it again. It'll be interesting to see how long Barbosa and Joy Crawford stays on the bench. Nick Young misses that three. Both teams offensively are just struggling to score. And in situations like this, you gotta figure out your one little sweet set that you like to go to or, or play to get a shot. Jody Meeks. Rattles in that triple. And now 21-24. Again, first team to 25. We get to the half. Here's Stewart. Comes off the curl. That one comes off. Swaggy P to follow no good. Boy, it looked like Swaggy P had a layup, and he went from a good shot to a bad shot in that situation. Jalen Johnson chases it down. Summers, yes, the triple, we got a tie game. And that's why you're never out of it in a big three. You could be down by nine, and hey, a three, a two, a, a four point play could tie it up. Stewart puts his head down, gets in the lane, and now we go to the half. Enemy, 26, ball hogs, 24. Nice drive here, using his athleticism and strength. Nice job by Stewart. Isaiah Stewart with uh, 11 points, five rebounds. He's with Scout. Hi, I'm here with Isaiah Stewart. First of all, Avery Johnson is saying you are making all the hustle plays. You have that mindset today. What What is inspiring you to play that way? Yeah, I'm hustling and scoring right now. We're just up eight. Let these bums come back, so we got to regroup right now and talk it over. We don't want this game to be close because the ref's never in our favor, so we're just trying to get a decisive victory this game. That's all we want. All right. Good luck in the second half. Elijah Stewart leading the enemies. Jordan Crawford also had the hot hand, but they're up by two.
Ball Hogs, Enemies, Big D. It's the Big Three. Offensively, defensively, and then Isaiah Austin, you know, with his size and length, playing close to where he used to play. And, and here's the man of the hour, Jordan Crawford. He can score anytime he wants. You got to really make sure you find him on the court. But I'm really impressed with Elijah Stewart's offensive output. Well, Scally is with the Hall of Famer himself, head coach of the Ball Hogs, Rick Barry. All right, that first half a little up and down. Mostly, mostly down for us. We turned the ball over. We didn't shoot the ball particularly well, and our defense was terrible. And yet we still managed to fight and get ourselves back into the game. If we play our style of basketball, take care of the ball, control the boards, I think we'll be fine. Aaron's got a lot of open shots. Are you okay with those? Yeah, he made two of them. I mean, you go two for five, that's pretty good from three-point range, right? You'd like to go two for five. <laughs> that was a private shot. Good luck in the second half. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when you Rick Barry and you a walking bucket, you can throw those kind of shots to Scally. Oh, that's nothing but love for Scally. Is, I know, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and you can see Rick Barry talking with Leandro. Hey, look at this. Look at this. He's even rubbing out the legs there, Leandro. But, I mean, this guy does it all, doesn't he? Oh, that's old school before <laughs> practice facilities and private <laughs> charters and you know, this guy's doing it all. Hey, of course, you look at all of the Hall of Fame coaches that we have here in the big three. Rick Barry, just one of six, along with the doctor, the Iceman, Lady Magic, the Glove, and of course, Lisa Leslie. All 12 of our coaches returned this year. Mm -hmm. Man, what a roster of coaches and the continuity in the coaching ranks with our uh, coaches here in the big three. And that speaks to leadership and ownership and the players. You want to work with these players and you believe in the mission and the vision of the big three. Isaiah Austin going to the line, shooting one bucket for two points. Of course, Agent Zero, Gilbert Arenas, head coach of the enemies. 
All right, Agent Zero, tell me what you think. What, I mean, your team's on top here. What did you like in the first half? Uh, I mean, I like, you know, the energy we started with. You know, we came out aggressive. We came out uh, moving. You know, we let up at the end thinking uh, that we had the quarter one, and, you know, uh, they came back. Hey, Gil, I'm really uh, impressed with uh, Stewart. His hustle. Talk about all his multiple effort plays for you. Yeah, when, you know, when you're playing, you know, a half-court game, it's the little things that, that matter. He does that for us. You know, he hustles. He tries to block shots. You know, he's going to try to save balls. He's going to play D. So, you know, you know, just like that play right there, you know, those are the things we need, you know, when we're playing against, uh, you know, you know, younger teams. I love, I love that Isaiah Austin said, you know, we got to come in here with a different mindset. I got to be better as a captain because I lost my composure last week. Yeah, you, you know, when, when it's 36-36, you know, the game is on the line. You you, you, you can't, you know, fumble, fumble the game like that with uh, technical fouls and little things like that. Summers, oh, going to the rim on Stewart. Coach, we appreciate you. Good luck the rest of the way. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Absolutely. You know, talk about walking bucket. That was Gilbert Arenas. Mm. Man, that brother could fill it up. Man, he had a couple of years where he gave coaches nightmares. Yes, he did. With the, with the scouting report. Mm. Summers, shot blocked there by Austin. Crawford lays it in. Four point lead for the enemies. Enemies looking for their first win. Ball Hogs looking for their second of the season. Here's Barbosa. Oh, good cut by Jody Meeks. Oh, someone snuck back door. And you know what I love today? We have a lot of young people in the audience that love basketball. That's a great example of how you finish with the, your left hand when the defense is on the right side of your body. Meeks, impressive move. This would be a three. Could have been an easy three for Barbosa if he would have just kicked it out. Meeks trying to defend Austin. Austin too tall. Man, he's just so skilled for his size. Mm -hmm. Before the eye situation when he was playing at Baylor, I believe he was going to be a first round draft. You're right, absolutely. Four-point lead for the enemies. Get first team to 50, you win. You got to win by two, though. Meeks, Haynes, kisses it off the glass. Two-point lead now for the enemies. Unlike our second game was a complete, you know, blowout domination by Tri-State. This is a game that could potentially, I could see it at about 45-45 going down to the end. Both of these teams are very evenly matched. Barbosa, that three rattles out. Meeks, leading score for the ball hogs with 14. Here's Austin. Down low, a little jump hook, yes. Man, the footwork, the control, body control, the balance in that situation. Four point lead for the enemies. Barbosa, the Brazilian blur. Wow, he gave. He gave uh, Jordan Crawford some of his own medicine here. A little hezzy. Mm. Oh, fake left because he's very good at driving to his left. See the little shoulder fake? Jordan thought he was going to come with the right to left crossover, but he changed his mind. Here's Barbosa shooting one free throw. Hey, and one of the things I was talking to Ice Cube about uh, pregame that fans should know about last week between the ages of 18 to 49, that demographic, demographic mm -hmm. was up 30%. That's great. <laughs> Four-pointer there by Austin. You can just look around this back arena. A lot of young folk here. They love the big three. Crawford there with the follow. Lead is three for the enemies. Yep. Barbosa has a decision to make. Shoot the three or kick it inside. I'm taking the three. <laughs> he splashes it home. We're tied up at 36. 
It's getting good now. Did you share any of your pretzel with me? I did not. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Proud's hungry. <laughs> oh. So you weren't an assist, man. <laughs> yeah, this Barbosa. Look at the space here. Too much space by Austin. Barbosa said, hey, man, you better move up. And sometimes when you're a big guy and you think you have a size advantage, you think you're close enough, but no, you, you actually have to be as close as I'm sitting to you now. Here's Crawford. Shakes off the defender, Go knocks ahead. down the jumper. Two-point lead for the enemy. This one's gone back and forth between these two. Yeah, and even though he went a little bit horizontal here, he couldn't get to the basket, but nice stop and pop. Two-point lead for the enemies over the ball hogs here at the American Airlines Center in Dallas. The head coach of the enemies is Gilbert Arenas. We got him mic'd up for sound. Let's take a listen. Can we play them every week? Yeah, we, yeah. We're going to set it up as if we're going to do a double pick, right? We're going to set it up so this should, this should be like this. When you start coming in, I want you to go set the pick and you come under this way. Come on, man, make the free throw. Nah, I thought it was gonna be him. You was getting dunked on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert Arenas, head coach, his third year. Ayers. This is that three Barbosa though. The rebound meets. She can't give him space, but he left it short. She noticed Gilbert Arenas had the clipboard. He's out drawing up plays. I just wonder in his NBA days when the coach drew up a play for somebody else, how did he feel? <laughs> <laughs> Especially when he was hot. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Here's Barbosa. Off the glass. Tie game again. This has been nip and tuck the whole way. Ball Hawks trying to win their second of the season. Enemies looking for their first win. Austin takes the bump, and they'll go to the line. Austin said, stop trying to fly. <laughs> Had a chance to uh, talk to Austin's coach at Baylor is Coach Scott Drew, who's won a championship with the Baylor Bears. Mm -hmm. A couple of really good guards, Jerry Butler. So much great basketball talent here in this North Texas area. Yes. Here's Meeks working on Austin. Ball fake. Got him in the air. Bank is home. Boy, Jody that's, Meeks. That's how you go against a shot blocker. You try to look at, as soon as he bends his knees, you want to already be up with the ball. 
two-point lead. Austin ties it up. Again, nip and tuck. First team to 50, wins it. You got to win by two. And it's going to be the team, it looks like, Cuss, that can put together two consecutive stops. Who can get enough stops? Jody Meeks. Yeah, but he wasn't scared right here. He's one-on-one -on -one against the shot blocker. Shot fake. And up. Meeks already with 16.7 boards. And you know, you gotta really sell a shot fake. You can't just, you know, fake with your head. A, a really good shot fake is a ball fake mm. with your entire body. Hey! Missed the free throw which is rare for Jody. Here's Crawford, coming right back at it. Fading, scoring. We'll see how this season progresses, but man, the way Jordan is, Crawford is playing, you're gonna have to include his name, you know, if he continues to play at, at this high of a level in for some MVP of those. For stuff? Yes, absolutely. At 22 and eight last weekend. Here's Barbosa, crossover. Hey! Enemies up two. Crawford, has he pulled? Yes! Jordan Crawford. Four-point lead for the enemies. Crawford's got 17. Yeah, sometimes the defense get fooled when offensive players look down at the ground. How about Barbosa? Knocks down another triple. Well, they called the foul before. They called the foul before? No, did they, they count the they bucket? They count the basket. Yeah, they did count it. Yeah. Bucket's good and the foul, so they'll inbound it. They go in the air, airs. That one rolls off. Ooh, they missed Crawford on the kick out. Here's Austin. Working on airs. Five on the shot clock. Pulls up short. Man, but how many big men you know that can handle the ball? Barbosa misses the triple. One point lead for the enemy. I think we're close to our prediction. We said this game probably we're gonna have both of these teams end up around 45 points. Barbosa's had one heck of a second half. 11 points in the second half for him where he put up a goose egg in the first. Yep, and and who can make this big push right now? We used to play games three out of five stops in, in practice. You're gonna definitely need three out of five stops and conversely play well on the offensive end and we'll see who has that this last big push. Official. Getting an explanation. I think overall, obviously Gilbert Arena wants to win, but his communication style with his team and the way he talked to us in the interview and when we listen in, he's been pleased with his team's yeah. effort. Sure, he wants to win. That was still funny with Rick Barry, that interview with Scout. That was pretty good. <laughs> you would like to shoot Rick, two or five, wouldn't you? Rick Barry, the pickleball player. Yeah. You know, he's a pickleball specialist now. I'm not quite ready to play pickleball. I'm with you. I'm about 10 years away. <laughs> Crawford, man, this guy is still hot. Lead is four, he's got 20. You notice Gilbert gave him a little bit of a rest early in the game, probably to save him for this at this point in the game. Meeks gets into the lane and gets the roll. Lead is two. Man, both of the guys that we highlighted, you know, pre-game, and they both are putting on the show. Here is point game for the enemies. A three or a four, they can win it. Got to win by two here in the big three. First team to 50. Here's Austin, back to Crawford. 
guarded by me. Yeah, he wants to try to force the switch. He wanted Stewart to set his pick and roll. How about Barbosa ties up Austin? Good defense by Barbosa. Yeah. Tied him up. Ball goes to the ball hall. Here's Meek, the triple. In and out. Crawford got it. Oh. Crawford. This is the match Handle that we want. For the win. No good. Here's a Meeks back the other way to Barbosa. Thought about it. Oh, he's driving left. Oh, no. Back to Barbosa lays it in. Tie game. A three can win it. You got to win by two. First team to 50. Beautiful back cut. Man, what an enjoyable game. Elijah Stewart working on me. Crossover, driving, and he'll go to the line. I thought Barbosa was gonna, going to uh, isolate, but man, nice give and go here. We're playing basketball. Oh, look at Rick Barry. <laughs> He's gonna use his Taco Bell, bring the fire. He doesn't want Elijah Stewart go to the line and shoot some free throws. Man, Coach Rick Barry, when he decided to bring the fire, he sure got to the table quick. He did. So Elijah Stewart will go one-on-one -on -one for Jody Meeks to try to get this point. Here's Stewart driving. Going up. Gets the roll! Elijah Stewart! Count that point for the enemy. Man, it was a borderline. Did he travel? It was close. <laughs> it's the first time the offense has won today in Bring the Fire. So the ball hogs are going to call a timeout and discuss it. The enemies are a point away from victory. See Whit Berry drawing up a play, and you know the interesting thing here, even if the ball hogs knock down a four, you know what? That's the only way they can basically win. Yes. Here. They gotta get a four. Because you gotta win by two. Man, they were playing the song is getting hot in here. It is getting hot in here. <laughs> it for is. game three. You're right. Barbosa's had the hot hand. And so has Elijah Stewart. He's done it all for the enemies. Jordan Crawford's been the score. And fans appreciate players that do it all. I know this is an era where it's all about the three-point shot. Mm -hmm. But guys who can still contribute defensively, rebounding, be a good complimentary piece. Here's Barbosa to Meeks. Meeks has it knocked away. It's going to stay with the ball hogs, though, and they'll have three seconds still on the shot clock. Yeah, and I just don't understand why Barbosa passes the ball with Isaiah Austin on it. He's got a I think he put Meeks in a bad position. Gilbert Arenas wants to challenge that. He thinks it should be enemy's basketball. Especially if there's no foul. Yeah, Jordan Crawford didn't touch Didn't the reach ball. in. There's the reach in by Austin, but that, I uh, think that might win off for of Jody Meeks. That's what it looks like to me. This should not be a long review. So right here, look like yeah. Meeks, you see him? Yeah. Yep, that right hand. That right hand, yes. Was still the, the last hand to touch that basketball. <laughs> Nonetheless, it, it, that left arm at all by Crawford, do you think? No, unless it went off of Crawford's right knee here at the end. Doesn't look like it. No, didn't right. touch it. Nope. Oh, did he touch his left knee? So. 
I don't think the ball had any different movement. Yeah, so it'll go to the enemies. That's a great challenge by Gilbert yeah. Arenas. He's pushed the right buttons. So the enemies will inbound with the opportunity to win it and get their first win of the season. It's Crawford. It's Austin. It's Stewart. They get it in to Crawford. He's got the full clock. Now it's pick and roll. Reach oh. in by Barbosa, and did he knock it off? Let's see. Reach in. Oh, and the last hand was Crawford. Good D by Barbosa. And oh. another steal. Austin will go to the line to win it. He has a chance to come back home. He's saying bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying bye-bye. This game is over. We'll see. Isaiah Austin played at Baylor right up the street here from Dallas for the win. Oh, too strong. Wow. That's why you should brag too soon. You can't be overconfident. Makes the four. Oh. Diving on the floor. Barbosa comes up with it. Yes. Tied at 49. Next bucket wins it. Boy, the enemies, if they don't win this game, I think Austin is going to be, he's going to be thinking about that missed free throw yes, he is. all week. Hey, remember what Rick Barry told Scal, as long as we scrap and play our game, we can come back and win this thing. And They've done just that. How about Jody Meeks, the tip, the Barbosa, the drive, and then the finish. Tied up at 49, the next bucket wins it. Isaiah Austin didn't know I have a, a 315 lunch reservation. <laughs> What's wrong with Isaiah Austin? <laughs> <laughs> he was confident going to the line. Yeah, what a great day today. It's good to have this type of energy in the building. The fans have really become educated about the rules of the big three. Yeah. They're engaged. They should be tied up at 49. Point game. Here's Jordan Crawford. Gets the screen from Austin. Turns the corner. Drive for the win. Makes it home. And the enemies win. And get that first victory of the season. Beautifully executed set play. Got Jordan coming off that little middle pick and roll, downhill going to his left. Here it is. Jordan Crawford, 22 points. Pick and roll, back pick. Stewart made this play because he screened Ayers, who was supposed to be the help. Jordan Crawford, 22. Had a team high 22 last week. And follows it up with 22 again. And he's with Scow. I'm with a professional scorer right here. So Gilbert said he drew it up. Now, I, I know you. You probably said, let me give you the ball and get out of my way. How to go down in the huddle. Yeah, Gilbert was trying to be a team, you know, trying to cut like coach. Let me play like you play, Gil. Just give me the ball, you know? That's funny. They were talking about that. Like, sometimes you could draw up a play, but sometimes you just need guys to make a shot. Why were you guys different this week than last week? Oh, man, because we we came out slow the first week. It's important going to 50. You know, you start off strong, so that was our goal. All right. Congratulations. We'll see you next week. Okay. All right, guys. Fantastic. And the enemies get their first victory of the season thanks to Jordan Crawford and his 22 points.
That's the game. 49, 51 enemies with the win. We still got three more games to go. Trilogy, triplets, they're coming up next. All of the action here from Dallas inside the American Airlines Center right after this.